Hello everybody, it's Zazbud here, and welcome to episode 5 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, I'm actually really glad that if you go right here, it'll tell you what your next objective is, because I forgot. Ride on Ursa, Ursa Luna and follow the blue signals to sniff out Arizu in the Crimson Marlins. Well, I guess that's what we gotta do. I mean, I vaguely remember that. Vaguely. Um, not, not that much. Actually, hold up. What's my storage looking like? My storage is bad right now. Oh, that's right. I forgot to increase my storage. I forgot I can do that. Let me, um... Actually, yeah, let me just really quick put this stuff up. I'll be back, y'all. Alrighty, so now we should be ready to... How do I run? There we go. Should be ready to go out, find a Rizu. Uh, I moved a lot of my inventory. Pretty much all of my inventory. I'm gonna... I'm... <laughs> Hopefully I remember to increase my inventory. Anyways, here we go. Heading outside the village. Are we? Stay safe out there, kid. I, I will. Yeah, I forgot it's this area. Yeah, here we go. Marlin's camp. That girl who set who was Oh gosh, I can't read. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Be Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. Hey, yo, what that reminds me. I've seen Mistress Calaba riding around on that Ursa Luna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursa Luna uses his sense of smell to suss out what suss out I Fine, whatever. <laughs> Suss out where a treasure might be. Person Luna now, now knows a reason sent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Oh, yeah, now he knows. Okay, how do we switch it out? There we go. Oh. How do we. Does he just run automatically? Oh, dang. Oh, it's green. Uh, you like water, right? Gosh dang, why are we going so fast? We're chill, right? If we go over here, we're good. Oh, it looks like he's going faster automatically whenever he's following after the scent. There's no way we can get up, right? Yeah, we gotta go around. I wish we had a mini-map. That would be nice. Is it up there? It's up there. How do we get up there exactly? Uh, can we run? Uh, can we please... Run! Run away! What are you doing? Get me out of here! No, I want to dive. Oh my gosh, let's go. Gosh, dang. Are we supposed to go this way to get up top? What is that Pokemon doing? Oh my gosh. You know, something tells me we really aren't. Oh no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a second, we might. We just might be able to. You never know. Okay, whatever. We're not. Just just get in the mud. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can go around. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, we got this. Chill out. Come on. Climb up. What? Why were we able to... Can I just roll up there? Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. Ooh, because it gives us like a little bit of a height advantage. Get us up! Gosh dang. Okay. Do we really have any idea where, where, like, where it is? We're just following the blue. Okay. How are you able to smell when your head is, like, in the mud? Wait, it's green. Is she back on us? Whoa, 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 camera. Where am I? Gosh, dang. She's up here. Oh, there, here she is. Hello. Gosh, dang. Oh, it's Aspid. How did it all go with Ursa Luna? I helped him. Thanks a bunch, fella. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursa Luna found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? That Ursa Luna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. My luck's run out, though. As you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. 
Ah, there you are. Orisa, right? Eek. Mistress Calibur, uh, I didn't... I owe you an apology. Hold up, this base? I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from a diamond clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligan became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligan and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligant. What happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleaver. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people- oh my gosh, again with this, you galaxy people? You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant! What were you thinking, doing all this yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Lilligan might have become frenzied, too. Listen up, Azaspid. I'll take the bombs that Arizu made and meet you at Bravo Arena. Don't you worry, Arizu. Azaspid will calm Lilligan, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to Bravo Arena, Azaspid. That's where Lilligan's seat lies. Arizu will be taken care of. My dear Bibber Bibberal, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Already, I'm not sure. Quell the frenzy of Lilligan, the Lady of the Ridge, at Brave Arena. Where is Brave Arena? Aha! <laughs> Huzzah! Oh. Can I... Hold up, I might be able to... Hold up, hold up, we're getting height. Surely. Surely. Come on. Surely we can do this. Surely with enough force. If you spam it. I th think I'm... What is this? Oh, hold on. oh, this is one of the, 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 the spirits. One of the... Yeah, I guess they're spirits. Is that right? Isn't that what they are? Wisps. Wait, 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 wait. Just word here? So we get more height with um, Ursaluna. But you can only dash and... Oh, wait, you can jump! Oh, maybe I'll just... Maybe I just... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to see if we can if we can just jump up here. There you have it, folks. I'm just I'm I'm just bad at the game. See, I thought I thought I was slick. Do we have to Can I check my map? Got to go over here. Can I yeah, zoom Okay, it took a while to zoom in. So this missed... Okay. So we gotta go up. So I imagine... I don't think there's a way to go from inside here, right? There's there's nowhere to go from inside here. Is there... Nope. This place is pretty boring. Gosh dang, why was Calibur in here? Okay, I think we might have to jump our way.
I'm cured. Okay, okay, what if we switch? Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. My apologies. So... Maybe we could get up here to the side like this. Perhaps. Ooh. What the heck? Did we just loosen it up? What is this? Fight it. That's gotta be a Pokemon, right? What is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, very confused by that. So that's weak. Oh, this is super effective. <laughs> He's about to, like, jump off. Get him. Yeah, what now, buddy? What now? What now? Iron Defense. Oh yeah, you really you really think that's gonna be enough, buddy? You really think that's gonna be enough? Well, actually, we have our strong style leafage, which is gonna be defense shattering. That's right. It was overkill. You're dead. Um. Alrighty. Oh, it's up there. There's probably a much easier to way. M m much easier to way. There was probably a much easier way. Right? I don't know. We got up here, though. That's that's all that matters, okay? We're up here now. Gosh dang. I feel like every time I play a Pokemon game, it's like, in the beginning, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna catch every Pokemon. And then, at some point, it's like, that's just kind of, at least for YouTube, like, it's kind of wasting time, you know? Like, I can just do that in my free time. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Oh yeah, so this is the second alpha? That's what they're called, right? Alphas? He's gonna say it, isn't he? They lead a little against a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her, and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Dang, and I just got here, too. Honor took us one of my poultice... Poultice? Poultices? I don't know. To get a Rizu's leg all patched up. Caliba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're especially as we're from different clans. Arisu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligan, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. But... I got this. Dang, so we're already on to the second one. That's crazy. Um... from everywhere all at once oh what the heck yeah i'm like <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it's just a little point pokemon oh my gosh lightning strikes <laughs> you're not very scary are you you don't seem that terrifying dodging pokemon attacks when you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Um, I'd like to... Oh, I was going to see what the technical term was. Uh, anyways, um... Why is it? It's actually not that bad. Uh, you seem mad though, so don't spin around, don't do something...
Pony Tonk. It did nothing. Oh, I meant to do Y. Y. Wait, what? Oh, I pressed X. That's right. My bad. Why? What are you doing? Dodge over. I'm glad that we're learning, like, new mechanics. You know what I mean? Like, one thing that I don't like in games is whenever, like, something new happens. And, like, you get punished, like, really hard. Even though, like, you have no idea what's happening, you know what I mean? Like, you've never seen it before. What are you doing? Dodge. Boom. I keep thinking you're gonna do, like, new attacks, but you're not. You're just doing the same ones over and over again. So do we get, like, invincibility frames? I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Battle. Like, we very much could just... do this without using Pokemon, if I'm being honest, but... We're gonna go with this. Take him down, Ponyta. You got this. You still haven't evolved, too. So, oh dang, oh, yep, no okay. Easy, easy, easy win, easy win, easy win, easy win. Let's go. Yes, we got that Russian, we got that rush. Let's go. I mean, obviously, I'm expecting in, like, the future ones are gonna be a lot more difficult than this. Look at that, look at that. Back to your original form. See, now you're happy, now you're happy. 2,000 XP. Not bad, not bad. You're welcome. Meadow Plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of, gra of the grass type. I haven't really found a use for these things uh, uh, so far. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Arizu as well. I appreciate it. First there's Luna and now Lilligant? You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lil... Arizu, you still owe some, someone an apology. Huh? Who the heck is th Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Solacian Ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember oh, Almighty Sinnoh's words. Of course I forgot about them. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Aurizio. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. Know how to... S oh, it's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calibo wrapped all of that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligan, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrland safe, Arizu. I'll be sure to inform Marita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save her Saluna. You did well, Azaspid. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's ta about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. 
We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me that helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Azazpid. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligan for a while. Dude, they all like... They were all just talking bad about Arizo. I'm not even gonna lie. What happened, Lilligan? How do kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lady. <laughs> ah, yes, how classy. Lady. Report to Commander Kamado that you have accomplished me. What's that? I mean, that's that's the music, obviously, but like... Can I just... Can't I teleport? Okay, yeah, uh, let's... Oh, I thought it tells you the, the, the names right here. I thought it tells you, like, what they're classified. They're not the alpha Pokemon, are they? The alpha ones are the ones that get the, the red eyes, you know? They're not the golden ones that are special. Is that, is that makes, does that make any sense? I have no idea. Let's see, where do I need to go? New request. Can I just teleport here? Yeah, here we go. You're a real wonder. I saw a light disappearing into the space-time rift. Called another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. And that's two out of the three done as well. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. <laughs> Let us. I, uh, do I have any? If I, oh, oh yeah, that's right. My, my bad. I, I guess I, <clears throat> I didn't realize that. What's this? You called Lady Lilligan? Smashing. Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. You betcha. Ooh, Benny, 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 Benny. What up, Benny? Found him out of sin of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Dude, Benny is such a good guy, honestly. I, I, I like this. Like, dude, this whole place, man. It feels nice and cozy and... Oh, man, I love you, Benny. I love you, man. Okay. Um... I'm, I'm really curious what a speedrun of this game would look like. I mean, obviously, I don't want to watch it now until I'm done with the series because I don't want any spoilers. But can we do anything by spinning around? No. You can in other Pokemon games, but anyways. Um, what was I going to say? It doesn't seem like this game is too, too long. I mean, we've, we've already... Like, look, we've already gotten two of those Pokemon. In what? Like five episodes and the first one was just really me getting started and then the second one was really me just kind of exploring a bit like it wasn't really main objective stuff so i guess if you don't really focus that much on like side quests or catching pokemon which i can do all that stuff like off camera you know um I, and like if you just focus on the main story missions it's i guess it's not too too long I'm, I'm i mean i'm not really sure but so far that it seems that way i'm going to the top going to the top i'm going to the top to the top i'm going to the top i'm gonna go to the top what's up kamado i heard your song as asked i just heard your song about going to the top what was that all about <laughs> so you successfully calmed lilligant excellent there may well be times when the Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls on into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Impugn I've literally been helping out, what do you mean? You still don't trust me? Dude. Oh yeah, I forgot about dinner. Dude, his hands are shaking. Oh my gosh, Benny, how old are you? There you go. Bribing our potato mochi. Fresh from the stove. 
At least he's happy, you know. I wish he had, like, a, a wife or something. I feel kind of bad for him. At least he's got, you know, us. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Oh well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Zazpip. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself, and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Maybe. We very well could. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. Who is who is this? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, cause you're you're all you're the haircut lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna you're gonna probably introduce more styles. I gotta check that out. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Yes, sir. Wait, aren't you a warden? How's that gonna work? You're leaving your duties. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Okay, yeah, I was about to say. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can. Does that- oh my gosh, I don't know what that was. My camera just froze. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's a first for this recording. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'm pleased that you have found a worthy success for you for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamada, sir. Uh, so about that whole Ursaluna situation- You're back! If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, welcome, Arizu. And you, Azazpid, you will come with me- to Prelude Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to the beach. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's a vacation. I thought. I thought. I thought for a second. Though. Are we going to take a boat? Where are we going? Where are you taking me? He's going to like push me off and I'm just, he's going to drown me. I'm, I'm, I wanted to check out the haircuts. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Oh, okay. So we're going to greet new people. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Husui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Juvelife Village grow. Where did these people come from? <laughs> Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Azazbadir, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Though the combined efforts of all of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Alrighty. And they're gone. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Assassin, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live as alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Juvalife Village. I just said Juvalife. <laughs> Commander, Irida from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Zaspid, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. 
Oh, ready. Oh, man, you just left me on the beach. Can I go out? Can I? Some map saying. <sighs> what's, I wonder what's the map. That's not the map. Hold up. Oh, is there not going to be a loading screen? Can I just walk there? I don't know. It's been forever since the first episode, so. Oh, I'm at. Okay, I can probably just walk there, actually. We'll see. Oh, wait, there's a wisp here? Dang, I didn't realize it was going to be all the way back here. Five wisps? Gosh, dang. Well, we may as well look for them. I'm on the lookout for you, wisps. I'm looking out for y'all. Wherever you are. Oh yeah, this was the practice field. I'm pretty sure this is where we... No, it wasn't. This is where uh, we saw Professor Lavington with the three Pokemon. I'm not seeing any um spirits. That's not what they're called, is it? I keep forgetting what they're called. Dude, how do I keep forgetting this stuff? Wisps, that's what it is. I swear, if some of the if some of these wisps are like really well hidden. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be like playing hide and seek. Dude, it could be like in between these buildings. Oh my gosh. Hmm, what are they gossiping about? Just keep taking a look, and just keep... I have no idea where these other wisps could be, dude. Oh my gosh, I've only found like two in this area. Um... Oh yeah, haircut, haircut, haircut. Let's go do that. Hey there, in the mood for a style change? Yes sir, I'll be back y'all. Alrighty y'all, I'm back and I got the hairstyle change. Unfortunately, I can't flip it. It's 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 my hairstyle, except for it's the uh, it's the opposite. Like my hair, usually the the heavy part is on my left eye. Like this is my left eye. But for him, it's on his right eye, so it's flipped. It's and also the hair color is not the same. Obviously, I. You didn't see that. Anyways, um. I'm gonna end it here, y'all, so thank you guys for watching, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye!